Heredity Any insistence on heredity would have depreciated responsibility, and Jesus held every man to his own sin. Science and theology have joined hands in magnifying heredity and lowering individuality, till a man comes to be little more than the resultant of certain forces, a projectile shot forth from the past, and describing a calculated course. Jesus made a brave stand for each man as the possessor of willpower and master of his life. He sadly admitted that a human will might be weakened by evil habits of thought. He declared gladly that the divine grace reinforced the halting will. But, with every qualification, decision still rested in the last issue with the man. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean as if his cure hinged on the divine will. Of course, I am willing, said Jesus, and referred the man back to his inalienable human rights. Jesus never diverged into metaphysics, even to reconcile the freedom of the human will with the sovereignty of the divine. His function was not academic debate. It was the solution of an actual situation. Logically, men might be puppets. Consciously, they were self-determinating, and Jesus said with emphasis, Wilt thou? The Mind of the Master, Dr. John Watson Even natural disposition, of which we make so much when we speak of heredity, is only a tendency till habit takes it and sets it and hardens it and drives it to a settled goal. Hugh Black